Welcome to IPM Leap. Today's video is on important idioms and phrases that have been a part of entrance exams such as IP Math and BBA since ages. We have chosen the most repeatedly asked idioms in this series of 250 plus idioms so that you get a comprehensive coverage of the topic. And the best part is you get to learn them with interesting stories, pictures and example sentences which will make them stick to your memory forever. No need to rote learn from now on. So let's start with our first idiom for this lesson. A snake in the grass. The term a snake in the grass stands for a treacherous or deceitful person, especially one who feigns friendship. That is one who pretends to be your friend while secretly doing things to harm you. An example illustrating this meaning is His best friend turned out to be a snake in the grass by cheating him out of his business and properties. Stick one's neck out Well, this phrase probably originated from turtles. When a turtle sticks its neck and head out in the open, it becomes more vulnerable to predators. But a turtle must leave the safe haven of its shell to eat. So it will have to stick its neck out sometimes even though it entails some risk. Therefore the idiom means to make oneself vulnerable and to take a risk. For example, afraid to stick her neck out, she decided not to report the incident to the police. To bite the dust. This phrase can be used both for a person in which case it means to die and for an object when it fails or breaks or gives out. Examples are the soldier was too young to bite the dust which means die and my hair dryer bit the dust today. Now I will have to buy another one. This sentence means that my hair dryer stopped working. To build castles in thin air. We know that castles in thin air or castles floating in the sky are possible only in imagination. So this phrase means to daydream or to make plans that can never come true. For instance, the little girl sat in the garden all day long, building castles in thin air. To hang fire. This expression originally referred to the 17th century flintlock musket where the priming powder ignited but often failed to explode the main charge, a result called hanging fire. So to hang fire means to hesitate or delay doing something, especially making a decision. An example that shows how to use this idiom is, it's elections time and the government is hanging fire on the decision to increase the tax rates. To make both ends meet. This is again one expression that is very, very common in English. It is assumed that the ends in this expression allude to the sum total of income and expenditure. So if one is able to balance income and expenditure, then one is making ends meet. This idiom means to manage somehow and to have just about enough money to pay for your basic expenses. An example sentence is, with mounting expenses, he decided to work extra shifts to make both ends meet. To make one's blood or flesh creep. This idiom alludes to the feeling of having something like probably an insect crawl over one's body or skin. Creepy, isn't it? So this idiom means to cause one to shudder with fear or disgust. Examples are the sight of a spider right in front of his nose made his flesh creep. 
The use of this idiom in this sentence suggests that he was afraid or filled with fear. And the account of the heinous crime made my blood creep. In this case, the idiom means that I felt uneasy and disgusted at the account of that crime. To nip in the bud, a self-explanatory one. We know that the bud is the initial stage from which a flower blooms later on. So if you nip it in the bud, you have suppressed it at the initial stage, which is what this idiom means. An example, before the flower, negative tendencies must be nipped in the bud. Next, we have the idiom, under the weather. This expression means to be ill. The phrase presumably alludes to the influence of weather on one's health. An example sentence, I am going to stay at home because I am feeling under the weather today. However, the same term is sometimes used as a euphemism for being drunk. For instance, after seven drinks, honey was a bit under the weather. And our last idiom is water under the bridge. This phrase is akin to the expressions what's past cannot be undone or let bygones be bygones. The expression is often used in the form of the saying a lot of water has flowed or passed or gone under the bridge. It refers to something that is over and gone just like a running flow of water in a river that passes underneath a stationary bridge. The idiom water under the bridge is used to refer to events that are a matter of the past and consequently no longer to be regarded as important. For instance, she used to go out with one of her neighbors but now she is married to someone else. As they say, a lot of water has passed under the bridge. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to press the like button if you did and also press the bell icon next to subscribe to get notifications about other such useful content on our channel. You may also visit our website www.ipmlead.com and drop us queries in the comments box below. Happy learning!